Ah, ah. What was that? Maybe a wolf? I don't know. Oh, I don't like this. Being in a tent. Yeah, it's still early. I want to see if I can get a little bit more rest. Well, this is just after 6 a.m. And I might as well have gone ahead and got up. Because I was not able to go back to sleep after that scare. I've already got a load of wood that I picked up last night. After I got back to the property, there wasn't much to do. So I had a little bit of daylight left. Went ahead and loaded up a trailer full. And I put a few pieces here in the truck. And so I had that ready. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run down and get this sold this morning. And try and get an early start on the day. I've got a lot of work to do. I'm making some good progress. Actually much more progress than I thought. Uh, the thing that helps is that the sawmill is actually pretty close to the property. So I don't have to travel too far to uh, unload this wood. But the problem is we're having to only take down about one tree per load. That is just going to end up taking too much time. So my main goal today is we're going to try to get enough money to look around and see if we can't find either a bigger trailer. I don't know how much more weight that this Suburban can handle. Or we're going to look at maybe a tractor. I do know that this uh, sawmill actually has a, a wood hauling trailer available that has a little crane on it. Uh, you can rent that, but we need a tractor to run the hydraulic. So we're going to look around, see what we can get. I'm going to get this wood sold first. All right, I pulled in here to the uh, Clever Motors uh, shop here. I'm going to go in and see if they have some kind of flagging tape. I need to mark those trees so that I can uh, find that driveway. It's just a little bit difficult trying to get in and out of this property. There's so many trees and it's hard to remember which way to go. I'm actually up to about $4,700 now after selling the wood. So let me run in here and see what they have. Well, they did not have any flagging tape, but they actually had these uh, little marker posts here. So I've put a few out already. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work, but you can kind of see them. They... They do stick up above the grass pretty good. I put a few of them out here, but they don't they don't show up above the bushes very well. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few more out back towards the entrance. We'll see how that works out. Okay, just got the last marker post put out. Uh, they're about twenty bucks a piece, so I didn't want to spend too much. Uh, about five or six of them, so we got those put out, and that should help. Uh, this one area right here was the first area that I worked in, and it is pretty much cleared out. I do have some stumps we'll need to grind out later, but the trees have been picked up. So now I can start working on uh, getting these other trees down. Um, but as I go, I'm going to also try and widen the driveway. But there's two trees down here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start working on these. Uh, get those take. Ooh, almost hit that deer. Get these two loaded up and uh, taken down to sell. And hopefully be able to look into getting some new equipment. All right, we have got a couple logs down here. I've taken a few loads down to the wood shop and up to $12,000. So I'm actually going to take some of these logs. We're going to split it up. And I'm going to build me a bench. I need to get a place to sit down when I need to rest. Instead of having to uh, sit inside the truck there. So I'm going to build me a little log seat here. And on the way back from the last load, I went ahead and stopped by the uh, store down there by the sawmill. And picked up a machete. I'm going to go ahead and go around uh, down, especially where I'm driving in and out of the property take out some of these bushes these bushes are all over the place and it's just making it difficult 
to navigate through the uh, through the uh, property. So I did get those markers put out, but I can't see them over the bushes. So we're going to work on that. Let me get this uh, bench built here real quick. It won't take too long. And then I'll go down there and start taking out some bushes. Well, that didn't turn out very bad. That actually turned out pretty nice. Considering I'm not a, comp a carpenter. Good deal. So now I have a place to sit. Alright, so I have bushes around. We're going to go start taking them out with a machete. Alright, so we're down here at the first marker. So you see here, I cannot tell where I need to go. We got this marker here. But the next marker is down... Let's see, it's actually this way, isn't it? Yep, there they are through there. Yep, here we go. So I need to trim out some of these bushes along here so that I can see from marker to marker. All right, well, here we go. Let's go start chopping some bushes. Oh boy, that was rough. Didn't realize how out of shape I was, but I have chopped down all of the bushes down along the driveway. See here, we have a pretty clear grassy area going along and we can see the markers as they go back. So that is much, much better. Much better. That's going to help me navigate through here a little bit easier. All right. Back to picking up wood. I'm going to go ahead and try and make a couple more loads. We'll see where it gets me. Uh, I have made a phone call down to the shop. Uh, the local shop here near town and they are on the lookout they may have a couple prospects for me we'll see what they can come up with not a lot of equipment out here in the valley uh, there's not a whole lot of population that lives nearby so they don't have a whole lot to pull from we'll see what they come up with and hopefully it'll work out for us well i have some good news and i have some bad news the bad news is the shop is yet to be successful in finding me something that I can purchase. But the good news is that they referred me to the uh, manager over at the dockyard. And they have agreed to rent me out their skid steer that they use for some forestry cleanup as a trailer skid steer a grapple and they actually have a stump grinder that they can attach to it so i have rented that uh cost me uh, 4300 bucks for the day so kind of steep for a rental but i think this is going to up my production they've agreed to lease it to me for up to a week uh, they don't have any jobs pending for a while so it'd be a uh, 4300 bucks a day or so plus uh, some overages on hourly usage so this could actually uh, help me out quite a bit be able to pick up some large logs and be able to maybe move a little bit more per trip uh, using their trailer I think it's about a 20 foot flatbed trailer so my only concern is if the old Suburban can pull it so let me run down to the dock and get hooked up and head back to the property and we will see what we can do with some new equipment.
Well, we're back here at the property and the Suburban actually did pretty good on uh, towing this trailer along. So I think this is going to be a pretty good rental here on getting some work done. Suburban's doing good. Obviously, a larger truck would probably be better. But we're going to make do with what we have, at least for now. I'm going to try and get turned around here so I can head out. Oh, there's a stump there. I'm going to have to back up. Alright, there we go. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pull down here to where we have these trees on the ground. So we'll go ahead and try and get those loaded up. I'm not sure how much weight this little loader can pick up so I'm not sure how long the I'll need to cut the logs but we're gonna find out it's a 20 foot trailer so it can't be too long get those straps unbuckled there and then I need to get this trailer unfolded Let me fire the engine back up there All right, that is all ready for us to go. So let's hop in the JCB and see what we can get accomplished. I have operated these in the past. So nothing new here for me. But we will get things done as carefully as we can since this is a lease and don't want to pay any damage claims on it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and drop this bucket off right here. Thank goodness it does have the quick disconnect. And let's get this grinder off the trailer. That way we can start loading it up with logs. Matter of fact, while I have this connected, I'm going to run down here. Let's go ahead and try and grind up this stump right here and see what happens. Alright, that worked out really well. Go ahead and grab this one here as well. These are some pretty large stumps, so they take a minute to get ground up. Let's see, do we have some more down here I can go ahead and get rid of? Yeah, there's one down here. A two down here. This uh, little JCB is actually uh, quite pleasant to use. It handles pretty well. And I do like that the the forestry yard down there has the uh, forestry cages on it as well. So I do feel safe using this in the event that I have a tree come down on me. Hopefully that won't happen. But it'll just be a little extra protection. Especially since I'm out here by myself which is probably not the safest thing to be doing. All right, I think I have one more stump over here. If I remember correctly. I thought I did. I'm sure I had another stump over here. Oh, also the sawmill that have been taking the lumber to, they actually mentioned that they they really didn't want any more short wood so this actually worked out pretty good 
Uh, if I continue taking wood down there, they ask that I go ahead and bring them some larger lumber. Because all of that short wood I brought in, they are limited on what they can do with it. So this picked that log up really well. I can back up without hitting my truck or the trailer or the tree. Let's see if we can get this loaded up here. A little bit, a little bit heavy. Yep, a little bit heavy. May have to shorten up the trees a little. I'll put this one here on the edge and see if we can get it strapped in and it'll ride. It's a little bit longer than the trailer. Now that's okay. Alright, well I'm going to continue loading up some of these logs here. And we'll get a nice trailer load. And head on down to the sawmill and see what they are paying for some larger timber. Alright, I have three full trees on here. I don't know if the Suburban is going to be able to pull it up the hill. It is struggling. Come on. Are we spinning tires? A little bit. We got a little bit of slip here. That's a whole lot of weight on this Suburban. I definitely need a bigger truck. This is just too much weight for the old Suburban. But where there's a will, there's a way. It's going to make it. Not efficiently and not gracefully but we'll make it we're going to run on down here to the sawmill now that I have some longer logs see if they will buy these from me hopefully make a pile of money $11,800 not too bad not too bad at all so that puts me up around $25,000 now that I have in the bank so that is going to uh, add up very quickly quite surprised with that and I totally just run that stop sign there luckily there's nobody around I want to head on back and work on some more downed trees try to get them loaded up off to sell and grind up some more stumps try and get that driveway worked out to where I can get in and out a little bit easier hope you enjoyed the episode please don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the video if you're new to the channel i'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing today i do appreciate you all for watching and i hope you have a blessed day